Hey there, welcome to the diaper den. Uh, today, I'm going to take y'all through some lessons in the caged system. The caged system, it's a good way for learning your way through the neck and learning cording all the way through the neck. And it's really good for rhythm players, man. If you ever just, you know, want to be freestyling or whatever the case, you know, it shows you a couple of different inversions of certain chords, man, when you're in certain keys. Um, really cool. And again, it's good for helping you learn the neck, man. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start. I'm going to do this lesson in the key of C, right? All right. So first, let me explain the cage system. So the caged system, C-A-G-E-D. The cage system essentially is this, right? When you play in the guitar, you know, you have your open chords up here. If you're in E standard tuning, you have your open chords up here at the top of the, of the fretboard, right? So, uh, and I'm starting in C for a reason, right? Okay, so you have your open C. That's your open C chord, right? Um, if you know how you finger your C chord, you have your ring finger right here on three, string five, string four, your middle finger on uh, the second fret, and on the very first fret, the second string, you use your pointer finger, and that's your chord formation, right? So now, this is the key to learning the cage system first, and one key to it, I should say. First and foremost, think about that formation of the C chord, right? And now, if you're doing the cage system, think of it like this. If you were to say this, say E weren't open on this guitar, and let's say right here where the nut is, that there's actually, let's imagine that there's another fret here, right? If E weren't open, then this fret would be E, right? So in order to play that C chord, like that that I usually would play this way in open tuning imagine if I had to finger it this way with my pinky my ring and my middle finger and then if you were well, imaginary fret here I would have to bar that right because that would be the chord I would have to bar that because that's where I would get my E right so think of that Remember that bar finger when you learn in this cage system exercise, okay? So now this is essentially the cage system. I'll explain it to you now since I kind of explained the fingering of C. So what the cage system is, is being able to find a chord in a key in the formation of these open uh, chord fingerings, right? So essentially what I'm getting at is, all right, so I'm going to show you first, let's go through all the open chords, right? You got C. Um, that's your C in cage. So now let's go to the A, right? This is your A, open A chord. Is that, right? That's your open A chord. Pinky, I mean, uh, pointer finger on ring, I mean, on string four, all on the second fret. Middle finger, string three. Uh, ring finger string two all on the second fret so again imagine your imaginary fret right here if you were to play this a chord with that fret instead of the open tuning then it would look like that right boom it would be that is what you would play so that's your a but the point is that's your a formation chord your open a so to remember that right so next is g what's your open g chord your open G is middle finger, sixth string, third fret, pointer finger, second string, I mean, fifth string, second fret, excuse me. And then your ring finger all the way down here on your E, your one E string on the third fret. That's your open G, right? So again, imagine that with your imaginary fretboard over here, it would take on a different kind of a formation. It would be something more like, it would be more like that, right? But that's your G formation. Next is your open E, which is this. 
That's your open E chord, right? Uh, middle finger, string five, second fret. Ring finger, string four, uh, second fret. Uh, third string, pointer finger, first fret. That's your open E. Now imagine that over here with your bar chord is gonna be, right? So that's your E. And then last, you have your D chord, right? Which is this here. That's your open D, right? Which is uh, pointer finger, second fret, third string, middle finger, first string, second fret, ring finger, third fret, second string. That's your D formation, right? So now you have your C, you have your A, you have your G, you have your E, and you have your D, right? So now, the cage system, again, is essentially being in any key, being able to find the chords of these keys with these same finger formations, C formation, A formation, G formation, E formation, D formation, all up down the fretboard. As an example, I'm going to show you what I mean now. Because, All right, so I'm in the key of C, like I said, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you C major chords all the way down the board using the cage system, right? So now, my first chord up here is a, oh, is a C, which we've established, right? Now. So the next thing that I'm, uh, that's the C in cage, right? So the next letter is A. So what that means is now I wanna find this C major chord in the formation, finger formation of this A, which remember if you had your imaginary fret is this. So now when you're using the cage system, this is your open C. Now, from the root of that C is where you first and foremost is where you'll start to find your next chord, your A formation chord. So if that's the root. Uh-uh, without the E string in the bottom. There's your A formation C. So now you have C major in C formation, C major in A formation now, right? So now what is the next letter in the word caged is G, which means now I have my C formation, I have my A formation. That means now I have to find my G formation, which looks like this over here. That's open G. Or if I want to be technical and have my imaginary fret over here, that's a G, right? So if this is A, what you do first and foremost, you do the same thing finding G as you did to get to the, your A formation C. You pick up from the end of that last fret that you played, which is where your C is, your, your root C. Well, you need to find your G formation now, right? So first and foremost, where's your next C? There's your next C, right? You find your next C. What you have is boom. And then you got, but that doesn't make sense, right? You know why it doesn't make sense? Because remember, your imaginary fret up here, you have to bar. And if you bar, you got, oh, not, that's not the whole chord. Here we go. You got, this is a weird chord. There's your G. There's your C and G formation. Now, people rarely play this kind of, this full chord, because that is a difficult chord to finger, man. Like, if you see but now I'll show you another cool thing about this. Actually, I'll get to that later. There's your G formation, right? All right, so now what's your next formation in oh in, in your in your in your letter? I mean in your word, caged. You did your G, next is E, right? So that means you have to find now your E formation G, uh, C chord, right? Well, where's your root? You found your root. Let's go back to that root. And what does the E chord look like? That's your E formation C major now. So you found that now, right? 
So what's the last letter in the word caged is D. That means now you have to find your D formation C chord, right? So what you do is, where's your root? Where, uh, there's your D formation C chord, right? Now, and you're at the octave, which means you can start over again. So remember your imaginary fret up here, that's your imaginary fret. And then if you boom, boom and boom and form your, your, your C shape, there's your C again and the same thing starts over again C A formation you know what I'm saying A formation uh, what's next G formation which will be uh, down here that's hard to reach but there you go and that's your C's your C majors up and down the board right so if I were to now I'm going to show you something else with that right so now i have my c my open c right now if i go to my a formation c i got what else i have in there is a few triads right i have i got a few triads i can appreciate there if i play this no no that was soon if I play this. You know what I'm saying? You got that in your E formation. I mean, in your A formation C, right? So now if I go down here, back to that G formation. So now I will show you something, right? I showed you that weird G formation chord that was hard to play that I told you I'm not gonna find too many people playing that. Well, if you take that off and make, to, if you wanna first and foremost make that not so difficult, this is also another formation of, or iteration of that chord where instead of using your, your middle and ring finger to cover this fourth and fifth fret over here, use your pinky and your ring finger and you just play that. You got that, right? Now, the other thing about this formation of your chord, when you play in the G formation of a chord, you know what else you got there? You have your pentatonic. You got that. your pentatonic right there right that's in your g formation so now let's go down here to your e formation and in your e formation you have an inversion of that where you can actually you have that which also turn into triads or you got You know what I'm saying? You got that in your E. So now down here on your D. Which is where you also can turn that, in, where you also turn that into your C formation again. Well, what you got, if you play the C formation of the chord here, you got this. Man. I'm saying you got that in there so you got those cool things and the cool thing now about the cage system now the the cage system is cool for like i said if you're just playing some rhythms or you want to do something like uh let's try this
got all of that to play with. and help y'all out a little bit that is the caged system in c if y'all like that video y'all make sure y'all subscribe and i will put more videos out there for y'all um thank y'all for joining me in the diaper den today man i'll see y'all another time